Okay, guys, it's me again, Herman, in another Just My Review. And today, guess what? I'm installing this beauty, this Vanguard uh, bull bar uh, with a LED light that is in here. It's in this box with the installation kit. Let me show you guys. This is the installation kit, the wires. And this is the nice, nice, nice uh, LED light. And during the Rich Line 2021, <clears throat> if you guys got uh, the same model, or I think for the 17 and up, I'm not sure, just make sure to check because sometimes I see videos saying that the models 17 to 21 are the same. And, and you know, uh, I get uh, surprised when I see different things. But in my case, I'm gonna show you guys quickly right here. You guys go under and you guys gotta remove basically this uh, uh, basically uh, protector you guys plastic protector you guys got in here in our rich lines and uh, you guys gotta remove some uh, uh, some uh, popping screws that uh, this push it in and just pull it out with uh, uh, easy removable tool let me show you which tool I was using to remove those guys uh, I was using this little pick tool right here you guys can see it but this one you guys can pick right in the corner this uh, this little guys right here and you guys can remove it also guys and if you guys got problem with this because i i know that these guys are really fragile i'm gonna put the links below in amazon where you guys can get uh these ones and extra ones i love these guys also uh i'm gonna uh, uh put these tools i got you know this this these things are very useful got in different sizes and everything and you will need it in order to remove this well you can use a screwdriver if you want to but that one is very easy also you guys gotta remove these guys right here also this guy was a pain in the neck this one i have to use basically wd-40 in order to remove these guys from basically right here it was welded basically and uh, in order to pull this thing out I have to remove this uh, push it in pin from here and get some my uh, my uh, um, my extension from my uh, WD-40 and just inject some fluid over here in order to make it uh, this is screw uh, soft because I tried to put it over here and it didn't work and I almost almost damaged let me show you guys I almost damaged that screw look at that you guys can see it uh, I was real forced I hammered it and everything to try to see if it can get loose and I almost damaged but thanks God it works fine and like I told you guys you gotta remove all these little holes you guys see in there is popping uh, popping uh, pins uh, easy uh, to remove and you guys gotta remove uh, some few other ones like I think it's two of these guys right here and well you guys see the bunch of screws right there then as soon as you guys remove that in my case with this bar uh, you guys will see this part right here let me see if I can zoom in a little bit better you will see this part right here it's three screws it's a, this one right here is a long screw it's like a what like five inches something like that four to five inches yeah no four inches you gotta remove that one basically you gotta remove just this and that and in case you cannot get it in you guys gotta lose this one uh honestly i don't have the uh, uh pounds you gotta use to tie this but i mark this one and to be honest i noticed that it was a little bit loose coming from the factory and i tightened it a little bit more as you guys can see the, the mark right over there you see that mark okay that mark is right there and right here and i tied it a little bit more i got an impact gun i got this uh, uh <clears throat> milwaukee i know super strong but uh, you know i try to don't pass that and this one I tighten it uh, all the way that I, I could with my hand first I check it with in level one in my 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 uh, my uh, tool gun 
and then I do it by hand. I did a little bit extra, and you know, just in case. Uh, the good thing is this is uh, basically part of the uh, of the unibody frame of the car, and I think it's not gonna be any problems. Well, this is the piece that coming from uh, from uh, Bangar. It's a solid, solid metal piece. You guys can see how thick it is. It's very good, and you guys gotta put it in this way. As you guys notice, basically got the same same curve of the uh, uh, original piece of the car, and you just gotta remove it and put this one in. Then, as soon as you guys do that. You guys gonna come in here and as you guys see you see that nut that is basically well with a piece of metal that one is in order to put this one put the um uh basically you guys gotta put the uh, uh the safety the safety washer right there the other washer in the bottom and you just yes, you guys put the, yes, the, the screw right there and tighten this thing all the way and as soon as you guys you know tie this thing this one is gonna it's gonna basically stay in place because it's gotta you gotta as you guys can see you got a square not a square a rectangular uh piece of metal uh welded to the uh knot and it's gonna secure it as soon as you tie it over here and this is the way this is the other part is coming in this is the way you guys gonna put this this is flexible and adjustable and it's moving as you guys can see from one side to the other side same procedure right here do that and just we're gonna bolt this in place and see how do it looks like okay guys well this is the job done finally <laughs> took me a little bit of time to finish this uh, I'm gonna put the links below this is a bunker and I love it this uh, this one is, is, is a really, really, really nice uh, pull bar. I like this guy right here. This one came with the light right here, as you guys can see, and it's very nice. I got all the wires tied up right there, as you guys see. I put all the wires through here and connected it through to the battery and following inside of here. If you guys follow inside of this one under the bumper, you guys remove this area right here and you guys will see what is the connector let me show you guys what is the connector for the uh, fuel tank this one right here you guys will see this one inside of there uh, you guys probably don't see it because it's behind all those wires but I use the same line and I feed this guy right here now this is the light for the uh, uh, for the headlights as you guys can see it right there let me turn it off enough you guys see the difference right here and i make a hole right here oh i know sacrifice i have to use a bit uh but to make a hole in this one i get this this uh, light in, in amazon i try to get these too many fancy lights that are they are so so nice but to be honest with you guys i don't want to make a uh, triangle uh, square right here <laughs> of course right triangle square <clears throat> make a triangle uh, like this device right here something like that but uh, bigger it looks very nice and everything but you know I prefer to use something uh, that is is being used for years and years and years and these little guys right here is being used for long long time and I think they're gonna still the same uh, you guys see you got a nice blue light and let me show you how the uh, part uh, give the light. It's very, very nice, very strong. It's very, very good, as you guys can see that. And it gives a nice presentation. This one is, is not a, a hole in here. It's, you know, it's completely uh, far. The only hole is behind here. And you guys got two connectors to uh, put an extra fog light if, if you guys want. Also, the lights, like I told you, came with an extra cable that is behind here. And as you guys see this 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 wire right there, well, this is the extra uh, connection for the lights that go in here and there. Uh, it's very, very nice from this company. I like it. And, and the bumper is, is solid, like you guys can see. It's very, very good. 
and you know i put some pieces right there i don't know if you guys well you guys can see it yeah nice you see that little thing right there i put a piece of rubber in order to uh to protect it from impacts that's why i want to raise uh the pickup because i'm touching basically right over here just touching the the sidewalk and because the problem of this is because it's only look at this is it's, it's maybe like a five feet high okay let me show you guys right here let me use this and you guys will see that's the big problem right here uh, as you guys can see i don't have not much clearance and that area right there is around six inches a little bit more well no basically six inches from the ground basically i'm losing a lot because of this bar and <laughs> as you guys can uh uh you guys thinking right now well yeah with this truck probably i'm not gonna be able to do off-road but you know i like this road just to use it basically on the city if i go it's gonna be may maybe around uh the shore or maybe uh, if I go a mountain, it's a, it's a road that I can, if I, if I go off road, it's not something like a bumpy and uh, big, big, big rocks and stuff like that. <laughs> well, not a big rocks, right? But, uh, you know, I got uh, the plate and everything. I love it. Uh, but it's just basically for, you know, for my regular day basis. Um, like uh, I told you guys, this, this bar is very nice. Got a nice price and everything. Um, and everything is included the light the switches the cables the wires basically it's uh this button is included but this one i'm gonna show you guys where you guys can get this this circle right here because you guys basically with this company the only thing you get is the button right here but this circle right here this one i just you know i get it and in the future i want to remove this then i think i just pop this one out like and just put another one <clears throat> right there okay guys and that's it thank you very much subscribe uh, thumbs up if you like the video and see you guys later on in another jazz fire review